Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today's video surprise is on the 2025 Toyota Camry. It's going to be a news and pricing video. Before you get started, please remember to hit the subscribe button, the bell icon to be notified new videos. I really appreciate that thumbs up if you like the video till the end. Okay, so one other thing I want to mention, well besides this is a heavy metal XSE all-wheel drive, it will come in front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive, no more six-cylinder, and all the Camry's are going to be a hybrid. So in a way, hybrid is the one that most people want because it saves fuel, you know, almost an instant torque because the hybrid system, and it should last quite a while. You can see some of those uh, hybrid vehicles on the road today. Some of the Priuses get over 400,000 miles. Still be okay in the hybrid system. But we never know, right? So I'm just going to read the news release at the same time. Talk about the vehicle and what you see in the video as well. This one has the two-tone roof, the block, and the heavy metal look. Looks really beautiful in my opinion. But notice the lobster claws in the back of the vehicle and the front fascia seems the most change. But on that, it's a Camry. So what has changed? Well, it definitely is the fifth generation Toyota hybrid system. And it's going to be a front wheel drive and all wheel drive. The all wheel drive has a rated 232 net combined horsepower. So that's pretty nice. You got more power. The re-engineering suspension and braking system for balance handling and comfort. So better suspension. Cockpit red over here in the XSE. Tell me what you think about the color. Some people might like it, some people are not. And it's not going to be the super, super red, which I was hoping not to be. Circuit red is a little bit too red, in my opinion, right? And it has uh, this one you could get blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert and safe exit alert with the Toyota Safety Sense 3.0 standard. And it starts at $29,000. So I'm going to give you some details here. It's going to come all right, with a 4-cylinder, 2.5-liter engine, 225 net combined horsepower on the front-wheel drive, 232 horsepower on electronic on-demand all-wheel drive. So you get a little bit more horsepower on the all-wheel drive. And estimated MPG of 51 miles per gallon on the LE front-wheel drive. Grade, so even going for the LE, you got 50 more miles per gallon, which is nice. You got eco normal sport like the normal vehicles nowadays, and you're gonna come in trims LE, SE, XLE, and XSE. So the four different models, and of course front wheel drive, all wheel drive, as well. And it should be coming on the spring of 2024 for the 2025 model. Manufacturer manufacturer suggested wheel top price is twenty eight four hundred, which is four hundred dollars less than the outgoing Camry Hybrid base system, base grade that includes more standard features. So, that's a Qi charger in this one, it's an XSE, and that's going to be on the XSE and on the higher trims and the XLE part. You see that over here, and let me know what you think about the interior, if this color uh, really works for you or not. Uh, interior seats, that is, cockpit red. It might be a little bit red in real life than uh, the video is really picking it up. So, but uh, it definitely looks like it's a step up from the current models. So you can see that on the seats here, these are perforated. It looks like really good material, in fact, too. So. And nobody is six cylinder, so you know, go for that level. All right, SE and in supersonic red. Uh, SE is probably going to be the, the package that most people go for. Uh, like current models, sell really well with the SE model. And I can see the side profile. You can take a look at that. You're not seeing a lot of improvement on the side profile, but mostly on the front. The hammerhead look, like I mentioned, and front fascia. And, you know, it just looks a little bit more sporty. I mean, what do you think? More, you know, more sporty, more action, you know, compared to the current model, which is kind of boring appliance in a way you could say, but it works. 
you know the biggest thing it works and it will last you know so that this se has you know the total logo on the top as well too you can see that it stands out it's not like the other one the current model so with the radar sensor and stuff like that below hidden behind it se in black interior tell me what you look about think about this one while you're looking at it has some panel block as you can see that over here on the vents and I don't think it's going to be a fingerprint magnet or anything like that volume knob yeah, I think it's the right location I don't think there's a problem with that a lot of buttons you can see a lot of buttons and you don't have to learn a lot if there's a lot of buttons you just press it you can go through a different menu to search for a button you know so the time control you can just press a button you want to change something just press a button and that's nice and you know, see the little strip over here. Um, looks pretty different than the current model, but it's just, we also have the strip. You probably remember the current model, right? The seats, I think, definitely more refined. Tell me what you think. So now we're looking at the Ocean Gem XLE model. So the XLE model is a little bit more luxurious than the SE model, but it's not focused on the sportiness. So that's something. Oh yes. Toyota Safety Sense 3.0, all right, will be uh, also uh, on these vehicles. Exterior color options from the SE and XSE. You know, sporty flare to line up, sporty flare to the Camry lineup with wheel mesh front wheels and stuff like that. I know, but we're looking at the LE right here. So. Tell me what you think. The colors we were mentioned uh, will be in the description as well too. Ocean Gem. This is the Ocean Gem. Heavy Metal will join the Camry flavors like Ice Cap, Wind Chill Pearl, Celestial Silver, Metallic, Underground, Midnight Black, Metallic, Supersonic Red, and Reservoir Blue. So the XSE grades as an available two-tone look. The sporty one, I guess. Extra sporty. With ocean gem, wind chill pearl, heavy metal, and supersonic red with a midnight black roof, metallic roof that is. So you know that's why you see the two tone look earlier on the vehicle. I could tell you the side profile looks very similar to the ones right now. The word of advice: if you're not uh, in the market for a hybrid and you just want a reliable vehicle, the current Camry probably survives most needs. When they save some money, some of them are offering a thousand dollar, fifteen hundred dollars off of the MSRP for the current Camry model, and it's probably going to be more reliable than the ones coming because they're going to have bugs with the newer models. Just a word of advice: if you're looking for a Camry, just a commuter vehicle, or you know, grocery getter, or something that you don't really care about too much about, you just want something to be reliable. Of course. Always do your maintenance on your vehicle so you take care of it. Otherwise, no vehicle is 100% reliable if you don't take care of it. That's not possible, right? XLE, all wheel drive, hybrid, electric vehicle. In warmer clients, uh, climate and locations, I'm not sure you really need the all wheel drive to be honest, but uh, you know, it's kind of nice to have all wheel drive. You go in colder climates, like snow and stuff like that. And here's the look at the interior the XLE interior and I have to tell you I think the interior is pretty nice if not equal or better than the current model so what do you think yes the lighter interior can get dirty you know over time yes that's true they have to clean it and everything like that but that's a minor thing so I post the the whole link to the description of the press release uh, in the, you know if you're interested in checking it out further so but you know look at it and this one in particular especially the XLE I mean Toyota gives a little bit gives a little bit more and more and it's kind of like it's almost going to be like a Lexus in a way to think about it if you buy a Camry nowadays and a lot of special little things here and there that makes the vehicle special right and like they say it's the options that make the vehicle special it's the trim that makes the vehicle special. It's not buying the base model that makes the vehicle special. Although you could get an LE hybrid 
and you really get an awesome deal with 51 miles per gallon in the future. So that's not too far away. I'm going to come in the spring of 2024. So what do you think about the nice big screen, the multimedia system? So that's only on the XSE and the XLE, but if you have an SE, it's only going to be a, the smaller screen, it's going to be the eight inch, right? So let's keep that in mind. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you know, you got USBs, two, uh, you got like a three in the front, USB-C, USB, two USB-C, one USB-A, and two in the back, one USB-C, one USB-A. So this one has a Qi charger, of course, you can see that yellow label over there. And a lot of different buttons, especially on the climate control system, so it's very easy to access. And these are perforated seats. That's nice, you know, especially when, when it gets really those hot summer days, you know, your vehicle is almost sticking to you or anything like that. So that, that's going to be a, a uh, sort of like an upgrade, to, to say the least, right? And here's a closer look at that in particular. And Toyota definitely upped the game on this Camry for the newer model, but not a dramatic total overhaul. Okay, folks, so here's the 2025 Toyota Camry pricing. Notice that little star, the asterisk. MSRP excludes dealer processing and handling fee of $1,095. So you have to add that to the price. All prices are subject to change. All right. So first of all, these are the base pricing. It's not counting options that could be added to the vehicle. All right. So the base is the LE model. Front wheel drive package number 2559. Base pricing is 28400 And I don't know which dealer will add certain packages. You probably could. I'm just going to give a idea. Add 3000 to that price. So the base MSRP price could be 3000 higher than that for the front wheel drive. Suppose you want something a little bit better. Middle of the road type of thing, right? To be the package 2561 SE. Front wheel drive, a little more sportier, bigger wheels, that'd be 30700 And you say, suppose you wanted more luxurious features and stuff like that, better quality, you know, seats, better, you know, infotainment, a little more options, I guess, right? That'd be a 2560 and that'd be 33400 And if you want sporty, Sportiness, like a SE, but better. That'd be package 25, 5, 7, 25, 57, 34, 600. So there, you know, I would say those are the ones you want to look at the front wheel drive, unless you really wanted the all wheel drive for a sedan, which may be useful in here. So a lot of ice and snow, you know, and cold weather. So you're going to pay an uplift. For the all-wheel drive as well so that'd be the next package for the LE compared to 28 400 29 925 so you can pay over a thousand some odd dollars more so they have all of them listed as well too if you like this video I would appreciate a thumbs up comment to share please leave it below please remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time have a good one bye